Let's look at lesson eight and two tenths, real life angle measures as additive. Why are we doing this lesson today? Well, we want you to be able to apply your knowledge and understanding of additive angle measures to real life situations and to get you to remember additive that has the word add in it, which means that we're probably going to add to figure out an angle measure or do the opposite, subtract and figure out that angle measure. So I have a picture here to start with of an insect. And as you can see, if you look carefully at this insect, it is forming an angle. So this would be an example of a real life angle. And if I were able to take this line here and extend it, this here would be a straight angle, correct? So if you remember, what is a straight angle measurement? A straight angle measurement would be 180 degrees, right, for that straight angle. So what if I were to tell you that this angle here is 85 degrees? How would we then figure out the angle on this side. So that's kind of what we're looking at today is problems like this and trying to figure out how do I find the missing angle and what kind of equation would I write for this. So I could write 85 plus n equals 180 and then I just have to figure out what's missing. So with this particular problem, you can see that I, off to the side, took 180 and subtracted 85 degrees, and I got 95 degrees. So our missing angle over here would equal 95 degrees. So let's take a look at this example. This is an actual um, staircase in someone's house, and it is forming this angle right here. And again, if I were going to extend this, this direction, that would be a straight line. So if I told you that this angle was 105 degrees, we're going to try to figure out this side over here. So I could write an equation 105 plus A equals 180, and then off to the side, I would do my subtraction of what that would equal, and that would mean that A would equal 75 degrees. With this example, we're going to assume that that slice of pizza came out of an entire whole pizza, and a whole pizza would be 360 degrees, correct? So that means that this slice of pizza that I am going to say is 45 degrees plus x is going to equal 360 degrees. So again, we would do a little bit of subtraction off to the side to help us figure out the answer to that problem, which would mean that this angle all the way around this way x would equal 315 degrees in this situation. So in class, what are we going to do? Well, you are going to be adding and subtracting angle measures to solve problems in real life situations. Mission accomplished. See you then.